My name is Mike Daig from Stanford University in California, and I had the recent privilege of chairing a symposium here at Circe that focused on drug-eluting stent technology. Specifically, this was sponsored by Cook Medical and involved the Zilver PTX stent. Four speakers participated, and the theme was to look at the real-world applications of drug-eluting technologies in clinical practice. What we learned was that over four years, the drug-eluting stent technology, Zilver PTX, reduced restenosis compared to bare metal stents by 41%. We also learned with cost-effective analysis studies that are starting to come out throughout the world that this means that we have now have something that can actually be of value, not only to our patients, but to healthcare systems. By reducing the number of re-interventions in patients with peripheral arterial disease, we're starting to see some payback to the healthcare systems by reducing the amount of money that's being spent on these patients. Going forward, we also learned that uh, from Japan and from studies from Germany, that as we go to these longer lesions, the results are actually holding up quite well. In fact, if you look at the lesions that are greater than 10 centimeters in length versus those that are less than 10 centimeters in length, there was no difference whatsoever in terms of patency. This is somewhat surprising, but mirrors early results that showed in diabetics, which traditionally have a higher rate of restenosis, with Zilver PTX, the results between diabetics and non-diabetics are equivalent. So a lot of new information coming out here at Circe about the drug-eluting technology Zilver PTX.